let's say you're driving down the road and you see some red and blue flashing lights either in your rear view mirror or ahead of you at a checkpoint how do you feel most of us don't really feel too happy even though the the folks who use such lights claim to work for us and claim to serve us and protect us because we know that more often than not such folks try to shake us down which uh, has earned the nickname of road pirates from my buddy 4409 to kind of describe the actions of these folks um, recently an individual was driving through Murfreesboro Tennessee which is just south of Nashville um, my buddy calls it the, the buckle of the Bible Belt but uh, he came across a DUI checkpoint that the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office was doing, and uh, he spoke with one individual named A.J. Ross, who not only lied to him uh, and, and refused to answer his questions about whether he was being detained, uh, but he, uh, he, he told him that his constitutional rights didn't apply at this checkpoint and used intimidation and threats and a false trigger from a dog to ultimately get into this person's vehicle who did not consent to a search, and then... Uh, try to look through his property uh, to find contraband, only to later uh, discover that this individual that was driving the vehicle had filmed the entire stop, uh, at which point he became quiet. So if you've not seen this video yet, I encourage you to watch it. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. Go ahead and roll your window down for me. Uh, this is fine, sir. Do what? This is fine. That's fine? Yes, sir. Why is that fine? Because I can hear you. How old are you? Uh... Is that a required question to answer? Uh, yes, sir, it is. Out of 21. Stay right there for me. Yes, sir. I need you to pull right over the side, right there. Right there. Am I being detained? Pull over to the side, right there. Am I being detained or pull am I free to go? Pull over to the side, right there. Okay, step on out. Am step I, out. So I'm being detained? Either pull over the other side, or you can step out right here. Which do you want? Unlock your door. But he's, he's perfectly innocent and he knows his rights. He knows what the Constitution says. You got air fresheners under the seat. Wasn't a very good alert. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's running. This video that's come out has already been viewed a couple hundred thousand times as of now when I'm recording this a day after the incident happened. And, um, you know, they, the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office has received, an, I would guess, thousands of calls and uh, a lot of pushback on their Facebook page and through other means. And they're running damage control. So uh, I, I did make a few calls. I was hung up on a couple times, passed a voicemail a couple times, and eventually I left a message. Yeah, I was hoping to speak with A.J. Ross of the... Thank you. Yeah, I was hoping to speak with A.J. Ross, please. All right, well, it went to a voicemail. I was hoping to speak to somebody. Maybe I could speak with you. Uh, is there a uh, is there a shift supervisor I can speak with? How many people has he done that to? How many people has he yelled at? How many people has he threatened, you know, and lied to and and used false dog triggers to get into vehicles? It's ridiculous that you guys are doing damage control for this thug. You guys, he needs to be held accountable, and to to do damage control and pass people along to, to a voicemail is ridiculous. And to say that you don't have any thoughts on it either is ridiculous because if you claim to be a professional in this occupation that you serve and protect people and then just pass the buck when your own colleague knowingly lies to people, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, hey, I, I uh, just got hung up on I was trying to talk to somebody about A.J. Ross's actions last night, and I was hoping to speak with somebody, please. Let me give you another number, sir. Um, 615. 904-3032. Okay, am I going to be able to speak with a person at that uh, one? If nobody answers, just leave a message. I'll make it get back with you. Is it uh, Lieutenant Page or whoever? Lieutenant Page, yes, sir. 
Yeah, I'd hope to be able to speak with somebody instead of being uh, go along with this damage control that's being done. You know, I want to speak. Is there is there a shift supervisor? Well, I hope if you have some issues with what his conduct, I hope you'd speak to him and not. I I would hope you wouldn't want to work with such a, 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 a someone who's a liar. Okay, can I be transferred to somebody else over there at Russell? Well, I don't, again, I don't need to speak to somebody who's doing damage control. I'd like to speak to somebody to get some accountability. Well, all right, think about, think about what kind of world you're going to leave your kids, man, if you let these thugs get away with stuff like this. I hope so. I, I strongly doubt it. When you guys investigate yourselves, there's no accountability, and that's what I'm seeing right now. When you are finished recording, you may press down for further options or simply hang up. Hey, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for accountability purposes. My name is Pete Ayer. You can reach me at... <laughs> I am calling in reference to the conduct of one of your colleagues, uh, A.J. Ross, and I think it's ridiculous that there's some damage control campaign being going on. Uh, between his colleagues right now, uh, being forwarded to voicemail, uh, definitely shows a lack of accountability. Uh, the fact that no one is, you know, you guys might purport to be, uh, you know, working for people and serving or protecting the people that you guys steal money from in that area, but it's clear that, at least with A.J. Ross, that's not happening. And if you and your colleagues continue to, to uh, let these actions go, uh, you know, without him being held to task, then, you know, I think that it's, you shouldn't be surprised when people – stop granting you the claim legitimacy and when people stop paying you guys salaries and things like that. I mean, he, he knowingly lied to a person who was peacefully traveling on their way. He used uh, other lies and threats to get in the person's vehicle and search their property without consent. So I'd ask you to, to seriously think about what kind of world you're going to leave future generations if you let this kind of ridiculous action continue. And I would hope to receive a call back from you uh, with information that A.J. Ross has been terminated and that he has uh, apologized to the person who he stopped. And, you know, I wonder if he acts, if he acts like this so boldly, uh, knowing that he's violating people's rights who he claims to serve, how many times has he done this to people in the past? And has there been a systematic cover-up within the department? So, again, give me a call back, and I, I look forward to hearing the uh, steps toward accountability that, I, that uh, some of your colleagues have told me are going to be obtained. But, you know, I would, frankly, I'd be very surprised if anything like that came out from internal checks because the incentives just simply aren't there when you guys claim a coercive monopoly on protection. Also, my buddy Adam G. House, who's on the ground there in Murfreesboro, he stopped by the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office today and inquired about the incident that happened, and he was essentially blown off. A lady at the front counter named Lisa uh, told him that they were handling it and that they could not give any more information at the time. So, uh, again, lack of accountability is pretty evident. Hello. Uh, I would like to give a comment as to the uh, uh, illegal traffic stop that Officer A.J. Ross made yesterday and violated the constitutional rights of someone traveling through the area. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's running. 